so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Good. All right, so here we are back in London, England, as the UFC continues to make its presence felt here in the UK and has the crowd on hand as usual here tonight. When the UFC expanded, when the UFC started going all around the world and becoming a global sport, London was a target area. England was a target country because we understood how much the fans care about sport. You watch it in the football game. You Ooh. watch it. You hear that? <laughs> Ball. You watch it in the way that they show up. The UFC approached this place. The UFC targeted England. We went there, and every time the fans showed up. Khabib's elbow is blocked. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. And he lands that side kick. Nurmago Medov gets the early takedown. That did not take long. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. What a beautiful jab landing there. Back and forth we go. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Three minutes now, round one. He's got the single collar tie. Dirty boxing here up top by Nermago Medov. Real sneaky body kick. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition. Down. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent. Knew that he would have to defend multiple takedowns. To this point, he has done that. And if I'm a teacher, he's got an A-plus takedown. Another big takedown. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Nermago Medov getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. And there you go, again, half guard. Under two minutes now to go. Nermago Medov's back in full guard. That guillotine is tight. How good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, Sean, but ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Great punch from the clinch here. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Oh, 
Nurmagomedov's in half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round underway. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another two important. Oh, nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. You see him talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. He can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing mat. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Hook in the clinch there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful jab lands. Nurmagomedov's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, look out, folks, that is tight. It looks like it's getting going. to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful jab land. Magomedov closes the distance and immediately gets the takedown. Once he makes contact with you, he is so physically strong, he's able to drag his opponent down to the ground. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Come on, you gotta get out of there. Oh, I thought that arm was done. He gets out again. It was over, John. It was so close to being finished, but he stayed calm, slipped his arm out, and now he's safe. Postures up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Excellent ground and pound here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, yeah. Game of inches right it's there, boy. Man. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Rips the body there. Oh, and he lands again. He gets, oh, nice ankle pick to get the fight back to the canvas. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Get up, get up, get up. 
One and a half minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. He's got that single collar tie. Another big thing. Nermako Medov's in half guard now. Oh, and transitions right into side control. Khabib's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Oh, he might be in trouble, that looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet, nicely done. Scribbling uppercut for him there. Nice leg kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And back to his feet. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Leads with the right hand, that'll work. Very active with the left hand. Beautiful punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now some separation. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Right, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Elbow from the top now by Nemago Man. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position. Start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Oh, that's a nice strike. He's going to get himself knocked out. You got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so... Nermako Medov's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. He's in real John, trouble. it looks tight. It looks like he's going to get this. Holding the position, still working for a submission. Oh, great submission defense. We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, great reversal to top position by Nermago Meadow. 
All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I love I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Ooh, big shot lands. Nermago Medoff gets the single leg takedown. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. There is the kick. That one checked by Nermago Medov. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot with a nice double leg change. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Takedown defense holds up. Man, it's almost like he's got oh, How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. He said that was some tip. That dar choke is tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Waning seconds here of round number three. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off your back. You have to get him out of his position. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your full and desire. Marco Benoff gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Beautiful transition. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Nurmago Medov going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable. Oh, now he's attacking arm triangle. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Found the target with that left hand. Nice jab by Nermago Medov. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Now some separation. Again, shoots for a takedown. Not there once again. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. 
outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Quick jab. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's going to strike him. It's like the fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Marco Medoff's in half guard. All right, feet on the hips here. Just over two minutes now to go. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. He, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Immediately gets the underhook. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow play. Nurmagomedov gets the single leg takedown. Well played. That was nice. Nurmagomedov has got full mount now. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Armbar set up here. Nice setup on that armbar. Oh, that's tight. Oh, he got out. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Back to his feet. And up gets another takedown. Largely, he's a striker, but the wrestling is there tonight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he is black and blue all over, maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one. And it feels like we're getting close to his stuff. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Tuckless on full display, but he got beat by a better fighter than that. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, headshot, bang, as the high kick lands. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Punch over the top. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Nice job to block the elbow attack there. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time in. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. 
staying busy in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Khabib's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, nice. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Nurmago Medov's in half guard. Elbow attack to the body now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Nice shot there by the champ. Still in hot pursuit of the submission here. Absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Close guard. Khabib's in half guard. Oh, triangle choke by Nurmega Metal. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. Oh, oh he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, he's got his back. Nice transition. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after him. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. The heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. 15 seconds. I'm trying to double up on that jab. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling that. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Huh. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more. And you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. We play the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Habib 
the Ebola Hermano Mena. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes.